Hi guys, there's already a key of this posted online, but I do want to go ahead and go through a few problems from the kinetic and potential energy homework number two. So what I did was I went ahead and gave you these equations. You will be given this and this. You are responsible for memorizing those units. So let's say you serve a volleyball with a mass of 2.1 kilograms. So we know the first variable is mass equals 2.1 kilograms. The ball leaves your hand with a speed or velocity of 30 meters per second. The ball has blank energy. All right. What is the moving energy? Well, let's think about it this way. If kinetic energy is one half mass times velocity, so it's got speed, and potential energy doesn't have speed, which one does it have in this problem? It has a bunch of kinetic energy. So let's go ahead and solve for that, okay? We know that kinetic energy is equal to one-half mass times velocity squared. So one-half times the mass, which is 2.1 kilograms, times velocity, which is 30 meters per second. We got to square that. So all we have to do is we need to plug this into our calculator. One-half times the mass, which is 2.1, times 30 squared. Remember, you are only squaring just that velocity. You're not squaring this entire problem. So you get 945. So the kinetic energy is 945, and we measure, measure energy and work in joules. All right, let's go ahead and do this next one. A baby carriage is sitting at the top of the hill that is 50 meters high. So we have height equals 50 meters. The carriage with the baby has a mass of 40 kilograms. So the mass equals 40 kilograms. What kind of energy does this have? It's just sitting. It has the potential energy. So what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and solve for potential energy. The only unknown variable we have also is gravity is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared. Okay. Potential energy is equal to the mass times the acceleration of gravity times height. So all we need to do is plug this in. The mass is 40 kilograms. The gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared. And the height is 50 meters. So all we need to do is plug this in to our calculator. 40 times 9.8. Remember, you are not squaring it. That is just the units times 50. And what you get is 19,600 joules. All right, these problems down here are much like those. Let's go ahead and flip this over. I'm going to do one problem on the back. What is the kinetic energy of a 3-kilogram ball, so it's asking you the mass, that is rolling at 2 meters per second? And this is the velocity. Remember that kinetic energy is equal to 1 half times mass times velocity squared. So all you're going to do is 1 half times the mass, which is 3 kilograms, times velocity, which is 2 meters per second. But we need to square that problem. So you take 1 half times 3 times 2 squared, and you will get a total of 6 joules of kinetic energy. If you would like for me to do more problems for you, please just come in and see me or ask me and I will post another video. Thanks.